Hello everyone and welcome to Sutton's Days. Today we are going to be making some baked beans. Yes, we are. A little bit different than previous videos. Um, this time I'm using pinto beans. Why? Because I can. You can use any bean you want, any bean that you have. It does not have to be um, navy beans or cannellini beans. It can definitely be pinto beans. Do it. Just do it. Okay, they're going to taste amazing and phenomenal. And I am very excited to be putting these up on the shelf because, you know, summer's coming. Yes, it is. And it's going to be absolutely spectacular with some already done baked beans. That way, when it's a busy day, I don't have to mess around. I can just go to the pantry, grab a jar, heat it up, and it is good to go. Sometimes you don't even have to heat them up. I'm just saying, don't ask me how I know this. Anyway, so we are going to be doing baked beans with pinto beans. Now... I'm going to measure them for you guys, okay, but I let these soak. Uh, they soaked for 24 hours, actually, so I put in three cups of beans, dried beans, and this is how much they swelled. It's a lot, okay, so, but these are not, these are not edible. These are very hard, so while they have increased in size the way pinto beans do, remember, I think, what are they, triple in size, um, at least, uh, then, you know, there's still a lot more that needs to be done in order to have a good, safe, tasty bean. Will they be mushy? No, they will not be mushy, people, okay? So first, we're going to get the pot ready. I'll bring you guys over, and we'll get started, and we'll do a little more bean talk. Here I have my pot, okay? I don't know if you can see it, but I have 12 cups of water in the pot, and now we're going to add the beans that I had soaking for 24 hours. For giggles, I'm going to measure them so that you can see what three cups of dried pinto beans comes out to. So that's one, and two, three, four, five, and six. Yep. So three cups of dried beans came up to six cups of soaked beans. They're going to keep sucking up the juice, let me tell you. So we're going to put these on now. We're going to cook these now for 30 minutes. But we're going to let some of that awesome flavor soak into it. Okay, so I have the recipe down below, so definitely check that for your measurements. Okay, but there is salt. There is pepper. There is tomato powder. There is mustard powder. Um, there's more. And we've got onion. I'm using my Thrive onions, okay, but I do have a measurement if you're using fresh. Now there's also Worcestershire sauce. Yes, I know. I probably destroyed that. Um, but we're going to do a tablespoon and a half, there we go, of Worcestershire sauce. It adds an amazing flavor. Yes, it does. Okay, there we go. And next, we're going to add some molasses. Now, you can use sorghum if you've got sorghum, or you can use molasses. Your call. I think last time I did it, I used um, sorghum because that's what I had. But this time, I have some molasses, and this gives it an amazing flavor. I love having this in my baked beans. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. But it's sticky and it's messy, but it's good. Okay, there we go. So now I'm just gonna swish that around to get all of that off of my measuring spoon because I would much rather have it in my beans. I'm gonna put a lid over this and we're gonna cook it medium temp for about 30 minutes. Okay, and then we will start putting it into our jars. Mm mm. These have been cooking for 30 minutes. It's a nice boil, okay. Are they edible at this point? No, they're still too hard, <laughs> okay. But they're good. Mm -mm. The house smells amazing. Gosh, I love these beans so much. Okay, so we are going to take these off the heat. I'm going to get the canner put on here, get it started to heat up. We're going to start filling jars. One of our amazing subscribers gave me this great idea of using a cookie sheet, you know, baking tray, underneath the jars. And that way it doesn't make so much of a mess. I love it. Okay, so we've got our pint jars here. 
I'm guesstimating I'm going to get eight jars out of this. We shall see. Um, but what I'm doing is I'm going along the bottom and I am getting mainly beans, okay? Mainly beans. So half full of beans and then coming back, scooping off the top and getting the liquid. And you're going to take that to an inch headspace. Now, a lot of people say, aren't the beans going to be mushy? No, they're not going to be mushy. They're not fully cooked yet. They've, they've sat overnight, okay? Do 12 to 18 hours. I happen to do, you know, 24 because life. But you let them soak, okay? And then you rinse them off. And then you cook them for another 30 minutes. That is not a cooked bean. They will finish cooking during the canning process, which is fine. That's totally acceptable, okay? So we're going to do all of these... I am, this smells just amazing. I think you guys are going to love this. Absolutely love this. Now, if you wanted to make life a little bit easier, you probably could strain out the beans from the liquid and then fill the jars and then add the liquid. But why when you can do it the hard way? Okay. And this is just my rough guesstimate so that I know it's at least half filled with the, the pinto beans. Okay. Now, your beans may vary. They may vary. And I'll keep covering that as we go along throughout the month. Um, different beans soak up a different amount of water. So it's something that you want to pay attention to. Pinto beans, they love, they love liquid. Yes, they do. So I'm giving them a wide berth because this, um, this recipe, okay, is so good, you guys. And so having that extra juice, honestly, I think is just going to make it that much better because as the beans cool, they are going to soak up more liquid. Yep, it's part of the fun. Um, but then you can also use that amazing liquid in the jar uh, for cooking, you know, when you're adding other things. You can also thicken it up if it's not as thick as you desire. Because some people like it really super thick, like, uh, like you get out of the can, you know, the bushes or... Oh, what was the one? My mother always liked Campbell's. Um, but these taste so much better. So much better. Okay, so let me get these, let me get these filled up. Okay, I filled seven pints. I have that little itty bitty bit left with just a few beans. So this is this is not gonna do anything. But those are gonna do amazing things. As always, we want to make sure to clean off the rim. I have a paper towel with some vinegar. You can use water. Totally up to you. But getting those rims clear is very important. Because even though you use a funnel, that does not mean that nothing has gotten onto that rim. Okay? Because you had to move the funnel from one jar to another, so it could have dripped. Probably did drip. It dripped. Okay? So you want to make sure that those are all free of any kind of debris. Now you've got your lids. And as you know, we are doing four jars lids. Yes, we are. Great lids. I have been extremely successful with these lids. I am very happy with them. So that is what we're going to continue using. I have my canner on the flame and it is getting hotter, waiting for these very hot jars to join it. Okay, so we're going to do finger tight. I saw somebody commented, oh gosh, I don't know, just recently, um, saying that when they took the jars out of the canner, the rings were loose. So they don't think they put it on finger tight enough. No, the, the rings are almost always loose, okay? So just go as far as you can like that, and you're fine. The rings are always loose. There's nothing wrong with it, wrong with it if they are. Absolutely normal and fine, okay? So you just want to get those all on there. Do your rings have to be gorgeous? Come on, let me know in the comment section below. Do your rings have to be gorgeous? Let me know. Okay, these jars are hot. Um, here we go. Okay. Just remember, finger tight. Come on, there we go. There we go, okay. Now, we are going to pressure can these beautiful beans for 75 minutes because these are pint jars. Yeah, you can do them in quarts, you absolutely can. Um, we don't, 
because this this serving size works for us okay but you absolutely can do them in quarts so if you're doing them in quarts do them for 90 minutes if you're doing them in pints do them for 75 minutes okay so there we go they're in the canner we're going to put the lid on we're going to let it come up to pressure we're not going to let it come up to pressure silly goose we're going to let it vent a steady stream of steam yes we are okay so once it begins venting a steady stream of steam from here then we are going to time it for 10 minutes and then we'll put our uh, regulator on i am going to be using the weighted regulator it's like it's a, otherwise called the jiggler i'll show you guys when we get there it is one of those cloudy, overcast, mud season days, otherwise known as spring in Michigan. Um, so we really can't see very clearly the steam. However, you can hear it. And if you use a lid, you can see it. It has been going on for 10 minutes now, but the timer on my phone just went off. So now we're gonna put the jiggler on there. When this starts to jiggle, we are going to adjust our heat so that it is doing a slow hula dance, okay? Very important that it be a slow hula dance, otherwise you can run your canner out of water and it kills the canner. Um, when this starts jiggling, we will set our timer for 75 minutes for pints. Some people have said, hey, I've got water coming out of there. It'll stop, it'll stop. No harm, no foul, it'll all happen. Okay, so we will see you when it's time to pull these out. We canned it for 75 minutes, we let it depressurize completely on its own, and then we took the jiggler off during that depressurizing. Um, the lock came down all on its own, okay? And now, we just tip it off to the side and let it sit for another five minutes. Time to take them out of the canner, okay. Oh yeah, I'm loving it. These are some pretty jars of beans. They smell amazing. My water seems to be a little bit harder today, but no harm, no foul, um, because vinegar takes it off the jar. So does Dawn dish soap. It's kind of cool. Okay, so we have all of the jars of beans are out. There was, yeah, there's no siphoning. I'm very happy about that. Let's bring you down here. Look at that. We're bubbling and boiling. So tomorrow, the beans will actually be taking up more. They're still, remember, this is still part of the process, which is why you don't mess with it, okay? And the beans will continue to expand, but there should still be liquid in there because we canned it according to the process for the USDA National Center of Home Food Preservation, okay? So if you have any questions, I'll put the link to canning beans down below so that you can check it out. Also, I will put um, my recipe that I used for this particular batch down below in the uh, comment section or description also, okay? We have baked beans. I'm so happy because these smell so good. I can't wait. You know, gonna... Remember, there's a link down below for four jars canning lids, um, along with a coupon code where you can save 10% using the code SUTTONS10. Absolutely epic and amazing. A great company. I hope that you guys caught the video that we put up yesterday. Um, and until next time, remember, be safe.